tortoise. Wow, that is a big leopard tortoise. Almost as big as they get. Woo! My name's Jack Randall and I'm a zoologist. Wow! Woo! And I'm showing you every animal on the planet. They're not seeing me as a threat. Spinning cobra! Hello. Absolutely gorgeous. Going about their business. Yes. Come on, let's go. This episode is all about the largest tortoise in southern Africa, the leopard tortoise. It all started with this incredible find. Wow! Check this out! A tiny, tiny leopard tortoise. Must have just hatched. I can tell that this is probably only a few days old. Only just born. Oh! Come this way! Wow! There's like loads of them! There must have been a whole clutch! One, two, three. There's one over there, four. They must have literally just hatched. But they are built specifically to live in this environment. Very quite dry habitat. That's good tortoise food for when, when they're born. They'll be going for these. And you can imagine there's quite a lot of moisture in those leaves. So that will keep him sustained through any dry periods. If you look really close at the end of that beak, that there is an egg tooth. And they are born with those to be able to get out of that shell which they're developing in. Ultimately, what happens is that the female would dig a little hole, lay those eggs, and then until the rain comes, it's very hard for these tortoises to dig, dig out. So it's this little bit of filtration of the water coming through the soil that actually spurs them on to come out of that egg and hatch. The incredible thing is as well, is that this is one, two, three days old, and it just makes you kind of more aware about how important it is to protect these places because we've got new life coming as well. But that is going to have to be a lucky journey for all of these tortoises to survive because at this size, they're just a little snack for a predator. But easy to snap these up. That shell would not be a great protection at this size. Baby leopard tortoises. the little baby tortoises, I really want to show you what an adult leopard tortoise looks like because they have a huge amount of growing to do until they get to an adult size. In order to find a leopard tortoise out here in the bush, the best strategy I've found is actually covering as much ground as possible. The population of tortoises in this area is quite large, but often they remain hidden, especially in these long grasses. So it's all about just covering as much ground as possible driving slowly and just looking around. Driving around in this location has turned up quite a lot of tortoises in the past, if you remember them all from the previous videos. So, it was only a matter of time before a really big one turned up around Tortoise! Here. There you go! Wow! Look at that! Woo! That is a big leopard tortoise! almost as big as they get. Almost like the cows of the African bush. They're out here in the early morning, grazing on the grasses and shrubs. And anything that's kind of succulent, these leopard tortoises would love to eat. And also flowers, so any flowering plants, they'll be going around there munching them up. What I find absolutely remarkable about these guys, and this is why I really wanted to show you the difference between those tiny little baby tortoises we saw not long after they had hatched versus the adults, because the size difference is absolutely remarkable. Right here, this is almost as big as these leopard tortoises can get. They can get up to about 40 kilograms. It really is a giant out here. And how long does it take for a baby to get to this size? Well, my estimation is that a tortoise that has grown as big as this, possibly 80 years old. Can you imagine 80 years ago that this tortoise was the same size as those baby ones? There's so many different predators that might want to take on a little tortoise like that. But as they get to this size, pretty much nothing can take them on. Even a hyena wouldn't be able to crunch through that very, very strong carapace. Can you see that? 
quite a bony structure and it's really strong. And that is ultimately what makes this turtle be able to survive out in the African bush with so many predators around if it didn't have the best defence mechanism on the planet. It almost is like a, a complete dinosaur the way it's built. Look at those legs, they're really, really tough. And there's claws, five different claws on the end of those, those legs, which they actually use in order to build a nesting cavity. And they're actually able to withstand quite extreme heat. Not many reptiles are able to withstand these temperatures right now. It's really getting high. But the tortoises can be out here in those temperatures. They don't um, overheat, unlike lizards and snakes. So you can find them out in 100 degree plus heats, no problem whatsoever. It is, I would say, the most successful animal out here. It is the land of the tortoises. This tortoise particularly is dominant in these plains and these scrubby acacia bushes. But it is an absolute feat to get to this age, to get to the point where you're 80 years old living in the African bush. It is an absolute miracle because there's so many factors that are going against you as you start off at the tiny little size of those babies. Absolutely remarkable. What an 80-year-old tortoise that has lived through so many different times of this planet. Over the point when there was wars through here, this tortoise has survived and has seen it all. All the different droughts, all the times when there's been huge rainfalls, managing to get through that period. And it's probably, this female is probably responsible for giving birth to thousands of babies. It truly has been an absolute pleasure to spend time with one of the oldest individuals that's actually living out here in the African bush. The leopard tortoise, yes. Look at that, it's a whole herd of giraffe. I'm on the trail of the biggest terrestrial animal on the planet, the elephant. There they are! Woo!